Good morning. Bonjour. Welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Michelle Lee. I go by Mosh. Either name is fine. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you all to our third ever IPFS Camp 2024. Thanks for coming. Um, this is our third IPFS camp with a couple years in between each one. And, and as you know, um, the speed of the internet, the speed of the web, uh, probably packs a couple decades in between each one. And so um, I'm tremendously excited about all the content and demos and experiences we have planned for you all these three days. And I, I hope you are too. And thank you all for showing up and bringing what you have to share with the community. Um, before we get started, uh, I just would like to ask you to turn to someone you haven't met before um, and uh, tell them how you got here. And that can be in a career sense, a physical sense, in a got lost in the hotel sense. I see we've all made new friends. <laughs> um, that's great, because as you can see, um, the way we've designed the next few days, um, we are deliberately trying to shove builders, uh, developer tools, and use cases all in the same conversations rather than separating them like we have in the past. And my hope is that this time, at the 10-year anniversary of the IPFS project, we are going to be better than ever at building that loop between research, development, practitioners, deployment, and real-world world impact. So I'm glad we all made friends. Please keep continuing to cross-fertilize as we go throughout the next few days. Um, for those of you who don't remember what IPFS is all about, <laughs> um, it is a long-term project to improve the foundations of the internet um, based on two core principles. The first is that all content gets content addressed instead of random file names. So everything gets a unique fingerprint. And because it gets a unique fingerprint, you can get it from anywhere, anybody, across a decentralized network without having to rely on or trust a central server. And those are building blocks that are now adopted and used everywhere across Web3, um, and in many cases around the traditional web as well. So I think today, this week, we're going to hear a lot of the use cases and demonstrations of, of how powerful this is in practice. Um, but first, a few quick logistical notes about our event. We have nine tracks and over 100 talks and workshops. Um, just embrace the FOMO. Uh, um, it is a choose-your-own-adventure design, um, and vote with your feet. So just because you hop into a track in the morning doesn't mean you have to stay there all day long. Please go somewhere where you feel like you are getting something out of the conversation or can contribute something. Um, and like I said before, um, try to find uh, conversations or talks you, you, don't know, you haven't seen before, you haven't heard about before. I think that's where the magic can really happen um, with an event like this. Um, and we are here to celebrate not just the projects, but all the people, right? Um, and I think it's thanks to, you know, it, it's, it's been because of all the people in this community that we are where we are today. And uh, it's the people here in this room, outside this room, that are going to take us into the next chapter of IPFS as well. So thank you all. Um, because we have awesome people, I don't think this will be a problem, but we are going to um, uh, abide by the IPFS code of conduct. If you have any issues, please um, report from that URL or find me personally or Brendan has volunteered to be our other um, go-to person. And uh, if you could take out your phones and grab that QR code, it will bring you to the Telegram for this event. There's a channel for each track so you can find some of the people that you've um, connected with or heard from throughout the, uh, throughout the event and also lobby and a couple other fun channels. Okay, without further ado, um, wow, in the, in the two years since we had our last IPFS camp in Lisbon, um, we have put IPFS in the two hardest places to put IPFS in the solar system. One is low Earth orbit, so IPFS went to space. It was demonstrated to work um, in a peer-to-peer -peer connection between a satellite and a ground unit, and that was thanks to um, years of hard work from a lot of people, especially folks at the Falcon Foundation, Dietrich Ayala, Little Bear Labs. So, you know, if we were talking about IPFS being interplanetary, we're there. <laughs> we're getting there. Next, we have to, you know, choose a planet. The other place, the, uh, the second hardest place, um, 
in the solar system <laughs> is in web browsers. We did it. This is a proof of concept. We're working on getting it accepted in, in Maine.、Um, but I think this is just an example of how broad the scope and possibilities for IPFS are.、Um, satellite browsers, come on.、Um, Uh, Blue Sky now has 5.9 million users,、um, and the AT protocol is meant to be a public、um, a protocol for、uh, social media,、um, and it relies on IPLD, which is the data structure underlying IPFS.、Um, IPFS is also used as part of the world's largest archive of genocide testimony, and it's, that takes,、um, that's really important work. It's really terrible work. It takes a lot of different flavors, and I think this is one that kind of mixes the terrible part with the hopeful part. It is、um, the first digital archive dedicated to how children experience war. And you'll hear from some of the、um, folks、uh, building the projects and technologies behind this work that make it possible to preserve and share、um, these stories of、uh, these stories and experiences and ensure that they're not forgotten. IPFS is also used by the Gain Forest team to、um, map and verify conservation claims. So they're working with 28 local、um, groups all across the globe、um, to use satellite imagery to prove certain conservation claims and then often pay back those communities for the work that they do. And this group,、um, this is going to be pretty exciting to follow. They are finalists in the X Prize for the.、Um, For、uh, rainforest theme. So the, the actual competition happened sometime in this year. They made it through semifinals and finals. And this is just another incredible instance of how these technologies can,、um, can add credibility,、uh, can add coordination, and also contribute to resource redistribution、um, across the globe. So that's pretty exciting.、Um, congrats to that team. And how do we have a scope that's so broad from satellites to browsers, from rainforests to war zones?、Um, it's because IPFS、uh, encompasses a lot of things.、Um, uh, some of these technologies, and, and you know, IPFS is modular, you can combine them、um, into hash based solutions for accurate data management. You can use IPFS for really resilient peer to peer networking. You can use IPFS just for the data structures alone and build、um, consumer apps and、um, you know, music streaming,、uh, file editing, peer to peer messaging, social media on top of it.、Um, and you can also use IPFS as an alternative、uh, for HTTP that's、um, uh, more resilient and in some cases more performant. So,、um, what is IPFS?、Uh, I think. That leads us to the fact that we haven't solved all, all the problems yet, right? And we have more hairy questions to come.、Um, I think we're excited to dig into these in some of the sessions、uh, over the next couple days, and especially in the project and community track on, on Saturday. So, how long will it take really for browsers to actually accept IPFS handlers?、Um, What are we doing with the gateways?、Uh, because those were designed as a band aid or as a bridge to a world where、um, all sorts of software ap applications supported IPFS natively. And yet we're shoving so much responsibility and, and workloads onto them.、Um, and the, you know, the world wants to, wants to use them to distribute information, but maybe they are being pushed beyond their original design.、Um, What kinds of interoperability do users actually need across IPFS systems, right? When they come to an IPFS system,、uh, are you always going to get the same hash from the same data? How important is that, really?、Um, and how do we design towards a world where、uh, users are getting what they expect? And finally, how can we fully transition to independent governance and funding for this project? Protocol Labs incubated IPFS and LibP2P for a very long time,、um, but I think we're also starting to see where. If we want to be a true community owned open source project, that needs to change and grow. So,、um, we, can, we have a lot to celebrate, but I think,、uh, in the interest of really、um, making the most of our, out of our time together, I think we also have some questions to grapple with. And I hope that maybe during lunch breaks or between talks, or especially in some of the sessions on, on Saturday, that we'll have time to dig in.、Um, but really, 
I, I'm really hopeful about what happens next because of all the people in this room, all the people who've ever contributed or used or complained or filed an issue or um, you know, uh, shared something with the IPFS community because there is just an incredible array of software, products, people, science, data that's being shared um, all across the community. And it takes all shapes and forms. Um, and I you know, want you all to consider getting involved in whatever way makes sense for your needs to help shape this project and this community into, into what you need and what the world needs from us. <laughs>